Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. This week I'm continuing with my Christmas quickies series and I'm going to bring you these excellent ways to produce really easy snowman art. I've got a beginner, intermediate and an advanced version so you can practice and as you get better you can get a bit more challenging. Stay tuned to find out how. I'm going to begin with the beginners, if that makes sense. And this one is so easy. Links to all of the products used in the video, including what's on my nails, is in the description down below. But first, after applying a white base to the nail, I'm going in with an orange and a fine detail brush, and we're going to do a triangle shape with a rounded end, and this is to make our carrot nose. With a large dotting tool, simply put on two large dots of black for eyes. And then with the medium dotting tool, we're going to start in the centre for the mouth and then go out to the sides. I'm going to start at the centre because that makes the biggest dot and then they get smaller as you go along. Once it's dry, we're going to apply our top coat and I tend to do this by dabbing it on the areas with the most art first and then drawing it over the whole nail. And that helps to prevent any smearing, especially with colours and detailing like this. Because there was a tiny little bit of glitter, I just kept stroking the excess top coat off until I could get that tiny little black piece of glitter. There it goes, it's nearly off. And that's the finished look. How quick and simple is that? Brilliant. Look number two, I've applied a base colour, like a duck egg blue. I'm going in with my white and my fine detail brush, and I'm just going along the end of the tip. All of these looks would look fantastic on short nails as well, so don't worry if you don't have long nails at all. What I'm doing at the base here is applying like a snowscape and then that will give us an area to work from to create our next snowman. Then I'm going in with a large dotting tool. Now you have a choice here, you can either do a large dotting tool and go round and round with it and then do a smaller one above and that's for the head. If you want to make it a bit more perfect you can go in with a fine detail brush like I'm doing here and smooth out those lines around the outside edges. I'm just going to actually take my snowscape up a little bit so the snowman is sitting on the snow and then with a needlepoint dotting tool I'm adding tiny little white dots for snowflakes. Then I'm taking some sky blue again with my fine detail brush and just doing a little line around the neck area of the snowman and then I'm going to go off with a little bit of a tick at the side and that's for the tail of the scarf. With a black, we're going to draw a line across the top of the snowman head. And then we're going to go back in and draw a sort of little tiny rectangle. And that's to make the top of the hat. Add extra detailing to the hat to make it exactly how you want it before going in with a fine dotting tool. And adding some coal on the belly. And two eyes and then some tiny little dots for a mouth. Finally, take your fine dotting tool and an orange and add tiniest, tiniest little carrot nose. Before again, I'm applying top coat first to the area with the most art and then drawing the excess over the whole nail. Allow to dry and there we have our intermediate. Finally, we're going for our advanced snowman, snowwoman, snowperson. And I'm beginning first with the middle of the snowman. And this is going to be our medium sized circle. Then I'm going to do a slightly larger one underneath. And just because of the size of these circles, I do find it easier to hand paint it than use a dotting tool. Also, you can keep tweaking it with a bit of extra polish until you're really happy with the look. Keep going till you're happy with the balance of the large dot at the bottom and the medium one. Then add a snowscape at the bottom. And then add a smaller dot or circle at the top for the head. Keep going until you are happy with the shape and the dimensions. And you can see here, I'm a bit of a faffer, but that's fine, don't worry. Even if it looks a little bit lumpy, it will be covered up with top coat after. Fill in your snowscape at the bottom. 
and then we're ready to start adding some detailing. With a brown and a fine detail brush, I'm going to add some stick arms and these are really, really easy. If you start on the white bit before drawing out to the sides, it gives a more three-dimensional look. Add some forks into the branches to make it look more realistic. And when you're happy with the design, go over again to thicken up all the branches. Repeat again on the other side, but then add the extra detailing and there's our stick arms. I'm going to add the nose this time just because it's going to be a bit easier to work out where to put our eyes and our mouth if the nose is added first. And then we're going to do our hat again with just the fine detail brush and your black polish. I'm going to add the top of the hat. Now you have a choice whether you do like a shorter hat, which is more of a like bowler hat, or if you want, you can extend it up and make it a little bit more crooked so it looks like a slightly old and battered top hat. Using a fine dotting tool, add two eyes, then add some dots for the mouth, add some dots down the centre to make coal on the belly, and then with this gorgeous red, I'm just going to add a band across the top hat to look like a ribbon. Now this is where it gets a little bit special. I'm going in with a really pale grey and I'm just going to add some extra detailing and this gives a really three dimensional effect. Adding this shading at chosen parts between the balls of snow, round the neck area and under the hat will add some detailing and make it look much more three dimensional. You can even add it to the snowdrift below and that gives that real look of snowdrifts that are blown in the wind. Feel free to go back in and add any extra detailing that you want. With a fine detail dotting tool, add some snowflakes if you want to. And once you're happy with the look, leave it to dry. Then again, I'm applying the top coat first over the snowman and then drawing the excess top coat over the rest of the nail to prevent smearing. I love the look of this snowman, this is definitely my favourite. How cute is he? Thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope it's helped you get some ideas for Christmas nail art. This video series is designed for nail techs and hobbyists alike, so do not worry if you're new to nail art, give these a go. If you're feeling a little nervous and you want to give it a go, start with that beginner snowman, that is so easy and you do not even need to have tools to do it. I do have a link in the top corner of how you can make your own nail art tools. Thank you very much for watching, please don't forget to subscribe and give me a big thumbs up and hit that bell icon to get notifications of every time I upload. Normally it's every weekend but I'm adding a few extra in for you with it being Christmas.